And welcome to this series of Kulano.dev. Alright, today we will talk about data types for inside solidity. And for solidity, we get you know different data types and we start with strings. Strings are just um, any text will be put inside these two um, quotation marks with the so so for this um, sample code we just want to store this data will be you know string type of data type once to am inside this variable I will call them name of my string if you put any name of your uh, string for here and um, we could declare in that string make um, solidity if you know then this public now actually one keyword will be you know take talk say this particular data make it show for on top blockchain publicly so now string be that one the next one are boolean we will say the breakdown to either true or false so for here we see say we declare bool the way we take declare string for here so we declare bool we set up for public again and um, we name the um, data this now a variable and this now the value true or false nine if it be so this is now the example code. All right. Uh, we also get unsigned integer and signed integer. Basically, waiting on signed integer, we will say now nah, all the positive numbers, one, two, three, all those numbers will be say we just the positive. So the same thing. We they use this u int to represent um, the numbers, right? And u int two fifty six now the highest uh, bit where the numbers we carry. So of course, if we get lesser than u int two fifty six, we get other uh, smaller um, numbers as well. So um, sign integers to the we will say this one will contain positive or even negative numbers. It will just say that negative numbers. Um, enum they give us opportunity to take get options for inside our variable. For example, we get this you know status so we set for here and we get three options inside. And if we want to call one of those options, we could just put um, dots active or dot inactive or dot pending at the back of the status um, will be the enumeration um, data type um, for here we get bytes and bytes within by the store now you know exact number of um, character we want for inside one particular data so for this one example if you see now by 32 they expect uh, two characters and bytes the always the Break down to this kind hash, you know, make blockchain or contract or even um, the solidity compiler fee recognize them. Say a byte. For this example, if we use by two and we put more than two things inside this kind of place and uh, we set them public and everything, we will get error based on say um, this by two, they expect only two characters. Address type of um, data type, and I just say, okay, our address will be strong for this variable owner and it always collect address um, when they valid so we, of course we could declare i'm saying address for here it does the same way we take the um, declare string and int array they store you know different information the like website you know sorry the, the same information inside one data type for example if you get different um, maybe numbers we want store for inside one particular array if you just run out like this, put this square bracket, put all your numbers inside, separate them by these commas, and if you store them as array inside this variable. So your array, if you get arrays of numbers like this, or arrays of addresses, and of course, you could declare as an array of addresses with this address keyword, with this sign, which shows an array. Or if a number, use uint. All right, structs, on the other hand, now just structure, we will still the old data, Basically, what this struct will do is say it will declare say okay now struct with this and the data and a cars. But inside the cars, one make sure so if it collects different type of cars, we get different you know um, pattern, right? The brand won't collect the price and won't collect the color. First talk the kind data we want inside the brand a string. This one are you into 56 because the number you know won't put for the price. And like that, if we say okay, um this array, okay, this one, uh, okay, code, this is not code error, so the array's name now cars, the array's name now cars, and, okay, and, you know, we, we just say, okay, we want to store one of those 
particular cars, right, inside the structure. Sorry, I say I read structure name na car. So we say okay, Lamborghini now be the brand name and now the price with this and now the color with this. So yeah, please turn accordingly to this structure we don't create. Um mapping on the other hand, say we the carry you know one thing or one particular data, we use them as key, they they call another data. So for example, if you get you know number one, if you say that another person, one person name and number one. Key will be one, two, and that key we will hold another person name like that, like that. So for this example, we see say address not the key, and the balance with the inside the address, now be the you know other data we we map them to. So now it's the mapping they do for us with that, and at this code we take the map, um the two things we want map together. For here we map address type of data type, and we match them for uh, with you know um you in type of data type as balance we be seeing a number. Alright, now that one we, we get for today. For this particular mapping, we do different things, you know. Uh, we don't need to start array, you know, for initialization. You don't already do, you don't start by itself, you don't kick start. So, usually, they only set to the value of zero or false or if now, you know, array or struct, it will set to empty array or struct so that we can collect information. Um, for assignments, we know, say, okay, you know, if you want to assign one particular key to another maybe data, now this kind um, way we tell it to them with assignment. If you do retrieval, that means if you collect um, maybe information from mapping. Uh, if you want to collect them, you will use this particular index operator um, where we use for maybe for array. So this particular one, now you will use this index operator with the so. And we could use so I'm going to use that with the key as key, right? So the example be this one we say okay, the name of the um, mapping and balance, and the balance is now be the name of the full mapping, right? I won't use key, will be you know this first address, they call the first address balance. So now so now to make things they easy for us to call, now why would they even use mapping in the first place? If you update mapping. As well, but we know if you delete mapping, but if you set them to zero, um, of course, we don't feel loop or iterate inside mapping because you know of the structure way there for solidity. But if you use other, um, maybe data type like struct or array, they you know do some kind of iteration. Um, so now, so mapping the work and at the introduction code we will go to later.